Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the video. I've actually been pretty impressed with the results that I got in just one month. Here are my old measurements. And here are my new measurements. So it is actually pretty noticeable. Most weeks I was just counting seven days, but this week I counted nine days because I wanted this to be a 30 day challenge. So just like the last weeks, we're going to talk a little bit about how I did each day and like how I felt, what I did, etc, etc. Day 22 and day 23, I can knock them both out at the exact same time because they were pretty much the same. I wanted sugar, I didn't eat sugar, and my workout sucked. In day 24, my gym performance was alright. It was okay, I guess, but I was busy. I had to go do something. So because of that, I had to lower my workout a bit. I did higher weights and did less reps instead of what I usually do. So day 25, I ended up falling for the temptation of donuts. And because of that, I ended up changing pretty much this entire week's structure. I was within my calories that day, but then I decided I'm just going to turn this week into a maintenance week. I adhered to my caloric deficit for a few days, and then this gave me like three or four days where I can eat a lot of food. I felt like I kind of needed that, not like physically, but mentally, because I like food. So basically I was in caloric maintenance for this week instead of a deficit. So the next day, on day 26, uh, I just ate all my normal meals, and then later in the day, I ate a pizza, which is 2,000 calories. It was great. I had a lot of fun. And then the day after, I was in my normal caloric deficit again. And then on day 28 and day 29, I let myself have a lot of fun. I was plus 2,500 calories on the 28th day and plus 2,500 calories on the 29th day. I let myself eat whatever I wanted. And it was great because I felt like I had three days where I was just able to eat so much food. Like as much as I wanted, but I was still at maintenance calories. So even though on day 30, I'm a little bit bloated and my weight is a little bit higher than it probably really is, uh, I feel great and my measurements today were still significantly lower than they were 30 days ago. So I'm quite happy about that. So going forward, am I going to continue using this chat GBT diet? I don't think so. Even though I did see some results and I do think it did work, it's really boring. <laughs> I'm just not really a fan of having these meal prepped meals all the time. It gets very tedious. It's simple and like I don't have to worry about what I'm going to eat, but I just really like the variety and needing to meal prep with variety in mind is just way too time consuming and it's just not really sustainable for me i think over the next month i'm going to eat whatever i want but it needs to be whole foods specifically and i'll only eat until i'm 80 percent full so i'm going to try doing this for a month and then see what happens and how my results vary i'm also going to try and see if i can feed myself for 30 dollars a week at the exact same time and i'm going to have a video on that afterwards too talking about how i feel even though i did see results with this chat GBT diet it's just way too plain for my personality type i'm going to really try to find a way to have tasty food eat somewhat intuitively and still try to hopefully lose weight. It's kind of a lot to ask for, but I think it is possible. I mean, I'm going to try a few things and then kind of report here what happens. I also got really tired of my workouts, so I'm changing what I'm doing too. I'm instead just going to do two weightlifting days instead of four or five. So two of them are just going to be full body workouts using just a barbell because that's just what I like. I really don't like much of the other stuff, unfortunately. One day I'll do boxing, maybe two if I feel like it on my day off. And then two other days I'll do rock climbing because I actually like that. So I think it is important to actually do the workouts that I enjoy. Otherwise, it'll just feel like a grind. And I am still going to keep up 10,000 steps every single day no matter what. I've definitely noticed a result from that. Like walking up a hill is significantly easier than it used to be too. I used to already walk a lot, 
Like I would pretty much clear 10,000 steps a day on average, but I wouldn't actually reach that goal every day. Like before this challenge, there'd be some days where I walk 5,000 steps only, and then there'd be a day when I'd walk like 18,000. So like it averaged out, but I would never actually just reach 10,000 on every day. I only really have to worry about my step count on days off because if I work or go to school, I end up with those steps naturally anyway. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.